why does local investing make sense and give us a framework about how to do it well. Let's start with the why question first. I think the answer to that one is pretty straightforward. We have a duty of citizenship. We are called by God to various vocations, um, to pursue ministry in so many different areas, but we're also called to place. Where we live, we have responsibility. And I admire two people who've invested locally in such impressive ways. The first is my friend, Chris Evans in Raleigh, North Carolina. He was deeply burdened by the fact that moms on Medicaid received inferior health care. That means they got sicker than they needed to, they presented to emergency rooms that shouldn't have had to see them, and the taxpayer bore bills that they shouldn't have had to pay. Worse, Planned Parenthood was the best provider of primary health care for moms on Medicaid in Raleigh-Durham. So um, Chris and a number of his kingdom investor friends decided not to picket Planned Parenthood to protest what they were doing wrong, but to build a Christian health clinic that would show that moms on Medicaid not only receive basic care, but excellent care. And that health clinic is thriving today in a sustainable business model. Second, Jalen Smith, who plays football for the Dallas Cowboys, is a Pro Bowl linebacker, um, was so burdened, of course, by what's going on and America's unrest, but realized that debates over how we got here or whose fault it is was not gonna fix the problem. We needed a solution, and Jalen's idea was investing in black and brown founders or minority entrepreneurs could close the wealth gap and to create jobs in our neighborhoods, which he's doing in Dallas, Texas. So these two inspiring examples show us that we can be highly strategic and we can experience much joy bringing God glory by repairing our neighborhoods with smart investments.